Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining me. This is the very first episode of Highlights from Tiny Giant. With the name's a uh, placeholder. Don't touch me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first today featured we have Tracer being piloted by Suprek. That's a mech warrior term. Sorry, I'll switch it up. Twinkus is playing Diablo. Way One is playing Lieutenant Morales. Kerrigan is Sir Sean Sheep. Quesarito is being played by Lee Ming. I am playing Raynor. My buddy Lazy Turtle is playing ETC. Shout out by... Uh, Breakbeat, who I don't know who it is, but so is playing Savannah. They did great. You will see shortly. Uh, Suggs is playing Lily, and Falstead is being played by Quirky Turtle. Let's get right on into it. We'll speed this up just a smidge for you guys. There I am being AFK. No worries. That's how we do it. Following me in. Everyone being great teammates, being nice and charitable. We have ETC and myself, Raynor, on the bottom lane, Lily and Quirky Turtle in the mid lane, and we have Sylvanas top lane. We have three coming mid, Lazy Turtle going in, not scared at all. This guy here is a fierce ETC player. If you don't know him, you should. We got 3v3 action going on. They're backing out, trying not to get a little early pick. Let's see what Raynor is up to. Raynor is 1v1 in Twinkus, which is Diablo. Going pretty well. He's getting a lot of free pokes there. And I don't think Diablo is going to be able to get close to me. Sylvanas going back. Lee Ming pushing her out. Lee Ming, or Lee Lee. Chasing after Morales. A lot of action in the bottom lane. She's having Morales is having to heal up Diablo. Tiny giant hiding in the bush trying to get him a nice pick with the rain or goal around. Lazy Turtle following his lead. Shrines up in one second. Range taking it. And the tank... ETC he is going to be zoning just like he should. Lily doing an excellent job. Hold that Q, baby girl. Hold that Q. Let's see how it's going top lane. Not anything going on top lane. Okay. Raynor standing on the outsides. It gets shadow charged, but it's a good thing they nerfed that stun. Lily going in front, positioning not the greatest in the world. Tiny Giant hitting him with a Q. Let's see what ETC is up to. ETC holding down the middle lane. They do have the shrines right now. But he is doing a great job of defending. Kerrigan's not going to be able to burn him down. Not without support. Lily. Raynor. Still going in versus Morales Diablo. That's a hell of a con. That's a... That's, that's a... They really should win that. I don't know how they pushed him out of it. Falstead by Quirky Turtle. Let's focus on him for just a second and see how he's going to go. Oh, yeah. They're grabbing top. Let's see how bottom's going. Yep. Bottom has been grabbed. Jimmy Lanor, shout out to Pallet Time, is doing just fine. He comes up to support Lazy Turtle in the mid. It's 3v2 here. I don't know if ETC is going to get away, but he does. Raynor, bad positioning. Womp, womp, tiny. <laughs> Let's see what Falstead's up to. Oof, watching that in replay makes me cringe. I shouldn't have done this. This was a Hero League placement match, guys. Gal. Falstead doing a great job of laning while Sylvanas does what she can to keep Kerrigan in check. ETC hits it with a stun. Not real sure why they didn't get a pick there, but sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. All right, let's see what Raynor's up to. Raynor getting to the bottom, take it from him. Dibbles, mid lane. Oh, Lazy Turtle, Falstead, and Lily pushing him away. Good luck. No, today, homie, not today. Raynor, laning, Falstead. Still 3v2 mid. It's beautiful. We got two mid pushing tracers coming down on Falstead. Gotta watch him there. Gotta watch him. Quirky Turtle about to bite it. He gets away. Beautiful. Suggs with the good, good jugs. Raynor pushing in. Sylvanas Raynor. That is a nasty DPS combo. You gotta watch that. Twink is shadow charging again. Doesn't realize his meta is old. See if they're gonna be able to push this off. Sylvanas teleporting around, doing a great job. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Sylvanas holding it down. Blue has the bottom shrine. Red going in. Quirky Turtle's holding it down just fine versus Lee Ming. And that is a low health point. I mean, that is a lot of balls going in right there. His balls are large, ladies and gentlemen. Large balls on deck. ETC going in. 1v3 doesn't give a shit. Lily backing him up. Mounting up. Oh, Tiny Giant asking him to please go, Jugs. Oh, and he stops the dragon. Oh, man, ETC Lily versus Morales Kerrigan. This shit is getting heavy. 
Morales trying to grab the dragon. That's kind of funny. Oh, Lily, bad positioning. Turtle in front now. Kerrigan going in for the leap, not going to work. Let's see what's going on, bottom shrine. Savannah versus Diablo, 2v1. Morales is here, but I'm not sure if she's going to be able to heal with that little bit of mana. We'll see if they get the pick. They do not. Shrine acquired, though. Let's see how the dragon take is going. Oh, Suggs and Turtle going in. Hard in the paint. Turtle goes in for it. Lily's trying to D for him. Oh, it's 3v2. Rainer has arrived. Zone him out, ladies and gentlemen. Gets the Kerrigan pig. This could mean dragon form, folks. Nice. All right. The dragon is going in. Let's follow ETC and see what he does with it. Very nice. Going in. Getting the structure damage. The chat going wild. Oh, with the nice Hyperion. Just eating up those structures. Suggs coming in. Ready for the jugs. Is it ready? Turtle going for the punt. Tracer ends up way in the backfield. Oh, yeah. Turtle going for another punt. This guy is good. Oh, Revolution Overdrive proccing. Great getaway. Oh, with another punt. Turtle's about to get burned up in the dragon, but that's all right. Turtle going for the escape. Diablo gets the pick. Nice smosh. Get another pick. Lee Ming down. Kerrigan about to bite it. Moving in. Time to slow it down. Hmm. Falstead getting away. Tracer's on him. Let's see if they can get the pick. He's stuck. Or she's stuck. Lily's stuck. She gets away. Turtle. See if he can power slide and save him. Falstead tries to get away. Not happening. Good pick by fucking Tracer. So cancer. <laughs> All right. Let's see what Raynor's up to. He's still V Diablo. He must be very comfortable with this matchup. Terrell's, I mean, he's just, Tiny's just laning just to find Sylvanas. It's quarter turn to call it for the lane 13. If these guys can get a talent tier ahead, it could mean a big lead. For those of you who don't know, fifth, every level is 15% power advantage. So, oh. Let's see what Turtle's up to. Nothing. Raynor's down for another 15 seconds. Gets away from the tracer. It's 4v1. Turtle does a good job. Let's see what Sabonis is up to. Laning her ass off. Good job. Good job, good job. Heading mid. Turtle heading mid. Okay, standing there typing. No problem. Let's see here. Oh. Quirky Turtle goes in. Suggs. Backing him up. Just gonna let the blue globe sit. Oh, he gets it. Good job. Turtle going in for the power slide. Beautiful. Raynor follows up with a Q. She is hurting. Ultralisk out. Jugs gone. Lee Ming trying to burn him down with the laser. Not going to be enough. Crazy Turtle stuck. He peels away from the team. Excellent job. Oh, yes. They push in. There's a half a talent or half a uh, level lead here, and that could mean a lot. Oh, yes, and we have a four-man going in. Fifth man, Falstead, who has just pretty much everywhere all the time. This guy here, good stuff. Oh, with a beautiful mosh pit. Tiny giant laying down the damage, trying to burn down Morales. Not going to be enough. Does he get it with a Q? Yes, they pick Morales. Beautiful. Kerrigan goes down as well. Pack a lunch, Pa. We're going to be here all day. And the dragon is up. Great job by the team picking up those shrines while they were engaging. Turtle with the dragon again. This is going to be fantastic. Quirky goes back for mana. Suggs needs to watch it. Here comes Kerrigan. 3v1. Not a great idea there, Kerrigan. Lee Ming eating those globes. Lazy Turtle goes in with the power slide and hits her with the W. That's slow, guys. That slow is powerful. Quirky Turtle grabbing top shrine. Bottom shrine is secured by Raynor. Beautiful. Going mid. Turtle grabs it. Yes! Let's see what the dragon can do this go round. These guys have not lost a fort. The other team is down two forts. This is beautiful. Textbook. 
How many picks is it? How many picks? Seven to four. It's not. Oh, I mean, they're not rolling them. Oh, Kerrigan bites it. Breakbeat heading in. Sylvanas leading the charge. She's behind it. Let's see if we can save her. Oh, she teleports back. Nice punt. Tiny Giant getting away. Jugs are on time from the Lily. Hold that cue, baby girl. Lee Ming getting a whole bunch of damage with that. False they going in. Gustin her back, and she gets picked. Diablo! Can't believe they're focusing the tank, but you gotta get what you gotta get. Stim Drone Kerrigan, watch it. Turtle gets stunned. Lily manages to dodge the APOC. Beautiful dodge. Going in with the Shadow Charge. Diablo's gonna pay the ultimate price for that, though. Turtle still in the dragon, doing work. Tiny Giant still just in the backfield. Kerrigan dives in, gets the turtle pick. Turtle hits her with the power slide. Oh, and she gets evaporated. Deleted. Alt F4. Fall back. These guys are down to keeps. Oh, they don't know when to stop. They have a two level deficit, and these guys are still trying to engage. Not a good idea, ladies and gentlemen at home. Not a good idea at all. Sylvanas taking cast like Sylvanas is due. You can't ask for much better than that, ladies and gentlemen. What's Raynor up to? Raynor heading in, grabbing camps with Turtle. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Sylvanas doing what she does. Lily standing in the fountain. You guard that fountain, baby girl. Falstead going in. Camps being grabbed all around. Everybody's trying to put a little map pressure, but blue team seems like they're going to have a little bit more because they have double the camps. 10 seconds on Gust. I believe that's what he's getting at. Do an afterburn, too. I like it. Giant killer. Beautiful. Because Diablo. Melt that guy. I'm with it. Raynor going in with Lazy Turtle. They're going to stay laning, even though they have a two-level lead. These guys are really trying to make sure they stay on top of an experience level lead. I'm telling you guys, two-level lead, and you own the game. You just got to stay on top of that XP. Kills mean nothing. Structures mean and XP mean everything. Not enough people realize that. This is not League Legends. This is not Dota. Hmm. Oh, he tries to shadow charge in all alone, but don't you know it? Moss Pit is ready. Raynor laying down the damage with the executioner. Oh my god. Everyone dodges the APOC. We are not scrubs. Oh, back into the Hyperion. My god. Diablo getting melted with the giant killer co executioner combo. Done. GG, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling it now. Wow. That's good shit. This false stat is on point. This DZ is on point. And as always, I, as Raynor, am on point. Grabbing their bruiser camp can be a risky business unless you're two levels up and most of them are dead. I see too many parties get wiped because they go for enemy camps too early. Or not well enough advantage. Advantageous. Advantage? I don't know. Get back to me. I can do better. Boom! Kerrigan gonna get bitten, and Falstead goes in. Done. Ultralisk getting burnt down. Never mind me, I'm just an Ultralisk. Nom nom nom. Lee Ming outside the bush, Falstead throws the boomerang. Hammerang, whatever. ETC's ready for the fucking dragon. He's getting it! Oh, and Lazy, I mean, Tiny Giant is just giving it to him with the Giant Killer Executioner combo. Watch Diablo's health bar melt. Q! Oh, he misses his Q, he's garbage! But he redeems himself. These guys are level 19 to 17 with another dragon incoming. This could get ugly quick. <laughs> Sylvanas admits to daydreaming. You don't see that often. Self-accountability in this game, but I'm glad to see it now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tracer versus... I'm not sure if that Hyperion was the best idea right there, but it did zone Tracer out, but that's a hundred second cooldown. That's an awful waste of an ultimate. Lazy Turtle, Quirky Turtle downstairs doing work. Sugs smart enough not to grab the dragon because she's the healer. Disengage. Letting the tank grab it. Beautiful. Kerrigan going to get melted once again. Executioner on top of Hammerang. You just can't be- Oh, she gets away! She gets away! Beautiful! B-A-U! Tifo! Oh, and then the Diablo goes in too much, gets punted out, Kerrigan getting melted, she stemmed! Focus fire! Gets away. 
APOC, everybody dodge. Beautiful. Oh, flips the dragon. Doesn't he know it doesn't stun anymore? His meta is old. Diablo gets away with a shred of life left. Craig and no fucks given. Ho! Oh, and that's the price you pay. Shadow charges it again and he's gonna get melted, punted away. Lazy Turtle, power slide at the ready. W at the ready, there it is. Wouldn't be surprised to see a mosh pit as soon as they group up. I tell you what, guys. Raynor probably should go back for uh, mana, but, you know, he's an AA hero. Diablo slowed heavily. Stunned. Executioner. Mosh pit. Wasted. Tour bus! He went tour bus! Melted. Executioner. GG. This is it. I would... That's it. Play good game, ladies and gentlemen. Good game. And the chat goes wild. Beautiful sportsmanship. Beautiful execution. You can't ask for much more. This is why we play the game. This is why we play it. Awesome. And ETC stunting on him.